This proposed amendment, um, which would just be offered verbally at this stage, was forwarded to the administration and the Jaguars so that they are aware that this would be offered today. Should this be a part of the stadium agreement? I guess, is that an appropriate place to put this? Or should this be a resolution of the council? Uh, through, through the president, I, I, I believe Mr. Johnson's or Dr. Johnson's intent was that it would be incorporated into the appropriate agreement that is part of the stadium package, but I'll defer to him on that. Mr. Dr. Johnson. If I, thank you, Mr. President, and thank you, uh, Mr. Popolis, for getting us there. And I briefly brought it up with the, the, the Jaguars, special events, and the entire team. Uh, one of the reasons I brought it up is as a graduate of two HBCUs, Edward Waters University locally and Jackson State University in Jackson, um, I think it's important and black colleges and universities have a really great history uh, in the classic games being played here in Jacksonville. And so I wanted to make sure, especially since in the agreement we spoke to university, the Florida Georgia game, uh, I think it's important. And while it's, it's aspirational, as was mentioned yesterday, um, I think to have it in, to explore it by May 1st would be something that less a resolution, but just kind of baked into it, at least having the team look at that every year. And I think it's something that the community could actually see themselves reflected in this agreement through having that baked in. Thank you. I'll, I'll ask the Jaguars and then the administration to weigh in. Mr. Mr. Lamping? Uh, we, we support that objective. We think it's a great idea. Mr. Mr. So, Weinstein? So do we. Okay. Mr. Lanning, did you want to jump in? No. Okay. I have a motion and a second to move the Johnson Amendment. All those in favor of the Johnson Amendment, please indicate by saying aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. Johnson Amendment passes.